Welcome back to Frog Compos Band with our Demigod Warrior. Last time we tried going down to Numenor and fighting the Dungeon Guardian, but that didn't go so well. So I think today I'm going to start up a new dungeon. And I'm thinking of this one, Dragon's Lair, which is actually higher level, I think, than some other ones we haven't explored yet. Or is that the only one? We haven't explored this one either. Uh, I guess we could actually just duck in there real quick and see. This is either anti-Malay cave or anti-magic cave. I think only one of the two can spawn per game. We also have volcano. Yeah, I think I'll check out this and then dip into dragon's lair at least and see how it is. The entrance guardian here is a bazooka who can fire rockets at you. Although we do have two sources of charge resist. Three sources. Okay, we're not worried about him at all. Anti Malay cave. Um, I swapped out our crossbow for a sling last time, and I don't have any sling bullets. So I can't do anything here until I at least get some bullets to use or shots. So let's drop off these bolts. And pick up some iron shots. I'm a bit low on healing. Hmm, not much there. Let's enchant up those shots we got. Potions of speed, I don't need any more. Now that I have heroic speed and a staff of speed. Anything else in there? Alright, let's just head over. The entrance guardian here is a great worm of many colours, I think. And these hounds are also going to be annoying. So let's use our rod of heroic speed before we walk up to him. He can do a lot of poison damage, but we do have our mushrooms, so we should be safe. And apart from that, we resist most of that stuff pretty well, I think. A bit low on acid, but that's fine. Oh yeah, our gloves. I forgot they got corroded. Should fix those as well. Actually, he went down very easily. Maybe I could do that quest on level 66 here to kill the 10 Great Worms. That Rod of Recall has more charges, so I'll pick that up. Alright. 
So this dungeon is pretty much Lonely Mountain, but harder. Which means it's another good place to grind for levels and gear. It's full of dragons, which are worth lots of experience and drop lots of things. Ethereal dragon. Yeah, we do resist light and dark. Spectral Tyrannosaurus, I don't think, yeah, breathes Nexus for 250. And I still don't resist Nexus. So I don't want to fight him at all. Uh, let's take off Potions of Speed. From our Mogaminator settings. Enchant Armor, we can get started on the gloves. Plus five from just that one scroll. Oh, he woke up. These guys also resist teleportation, so maybe I should um, just recall out to reset the level. Although there is Cadillacs down here who I kind of want to kill. North 20, oh wait, he's up. In that case, maybe. Where is he? That guy there. Uh, I think I am faster, so we can. Go over and kill Cablex before this guy gets to us. Hopefully. We also do have that great crystal, great quest. And we've got three sources of... Uh, do I want to fight him without getting hit on him first? Not really. That great crystal Drake breathed and woke him up. Cavalax can also breathe Nexus, but he has so many breaths that he's less likely to do it. I'll pick that up. I think I will go do that Crystal Drake's quest and maybe see how far we can get in that dungeon since I've reminded myself now that it exists. Uh, let's drop off this potion of Dex. We are capped out on Dex now. But I still may, at some point, drink a potion of new life, although I'm, I'm still not sure about that. Because I don't care that much about having a bad life rating on a warrior, because warriors get so much health anyway. And I'm only missing out on 53 health, and that's if I get a max life, rally, uh, max life rating value, which is um, not likely. The average is 38, I think, so really I'm only missing out on another 15 or so health. Or it might be 39, one of the two. The only reason I would want to re-roll it is because my dex rating, my dex cap is low. But on the other hand, my con is very good, the best it could possibly be. So yeah, I don't know. At the moment I'm leaning towards not re-rolling because this is fine. I 
probably should start buying potions of Int and Wiz. So more intelligence will help with um, my device skill and more wisdom will help with my saving throw. And I've got money to spare, so why not? My whiz is pretty low. The guardian to this dungeon is an ethereal dragon and we just killed one of those in dragon's lair so I know that I can take him no problems. Although it is annoying having to walk up to him. Big empty open space. Nah, yeah, whatever. Just go down. Alright, five great crystal drakes. One thing to be careful of in this dungeon is that all of the walls are made out of glass. In this quest in particular, if a great crystal drake breathes shards on you, I think he can also blow up the wall, which can do more shards damage. So if you're banking on scraping by and just barely surviving, but you're standing next to a wall and you've looked at the guy's damage and you've decided that you can take a hit. Uh, just be careful, because if you are standing next to a wall, there can be extra damage from that. Is this two of them here? We can just teleport one of them away. Actually, there's three. I think we can kill this guy before that guy gets over. Mm, and that guy summoned some monsters. Resist teleportation but doesn't have much health. And the other two are not dangerous. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I was hoping that that guy would be far away enough that when he blew up he wouldn't destroy that ring. These gloves have plus three to devices, but they also have minus eight on attacking. Maybe, maybe they're worth. Picking up at least. I think this guy is the last one. Yeah. I don't think a single one of those drakes actually breathed on us. So this is a big open room with lots of stuff in it. Four potions of healing. These rooms usually have good stuff in them. Hopefully, we're not very stealthy actually. It's all probably going to wake up very soon. I think I'll make a beeline for the potions. I want to get them at least. Can I kill that guy quickly? 
Maybe. Undead Beholder summons. We've got our potions, we can just leave now. In fact, I think I will leave. Another human unique. This guy throws grenades around, or, I mean, he summons them, but I think it's meant to be him throwing them. Plus six ring of speed. That's where that. Slight improvement. Some of that stuff is immune to being confused. Uh, there's actually two Logros Masters there. I do resist chaos now. Okay. Let's teleport them away anyway. Ah, uh, damn. Our staff burned up. How'd that even happen? I thought that couldn't happen if we had three sources of resist fire. Oh wait, was that on the ground? I think that was just on the ground. Yeah, we've still got the one in our inventory. Uh, I'm dying. Let's destruct. This demonologist will not destruct. He is still confused though. I should uh, remember to fix my gloves. Oh wait, that's the wizard gloves. These ones. I'm cursed as well, I just realised. From what are we cursed on? The ring. Should fix that as well when we are next in town. Pretty close to our end cap actually. The only thing that's lagging really is wisdom.
Blaze again. I could try killing him. The only really dangerous thing I guess is if he steals something. Oh, we are carrying two rods of recall still because I forgot to drop off that other one we picked up. So this is probably okay then. I was going to say if he stole our rod of recall that would be quite annoying. Because we don't have any food and we'd be stuck here in this dungeon. Actually, I think we did eat recently though, so we'd probably be able to walk out and get back to town, but still, it would be annoying. If I can ever use this. There we go. Let's just teleport away all this stuff except for him. Okay, he, I think he tried to steal something there, but we managed to grab hold of our backpack and he didn't get anything. We can also kill this guy. He shouldn't be much of a problem. He is draining our life though, which is annoying. Alright, I think I'll, I'll look around. Okay, there's Blaze. See if we can kill Blaze and then we'll recall back to town. Oh, I should have pasted. Okay. Down there again. He's just going to keep on doing that. We're not going to be able to fight him. Let's see what the staff is and leave. Go away. Oh, okay. He resists teleportation, I guess. He's immune to it. Okay, we'll fight him one last time. A few last times. Yeah, okay. see Albrook North. We can go kill this guy finally. I ran into him much earlier and ran away from him because, or I think it was this guy at least, because um, I didn't want to get all my stuff disenchanted. But now we have uh, our disenchantment amulet as a swap. That's interesting. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a jewellery shop spawning in a dungeon. I didn't know that that could happen. 
So let's go check that out. Is it worth shuffling this shop? Maybe. When you shuffle shops in dungeons, I think that gives you better stuff than shuffling shops in town. Although I'm not 100% sure on that. Actually, no, I think that is true. We can waste all our gold here. Plus five ring speed. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. Let's just blow the rest of our gold quickly. Ooh, okay, plus seven ring of speed. I will buy that. So there we go, we got plus one speed out of it. I think I might just quit while I'm ahead and still have some gold. That's a lot of queues. Fortunately, queues are stationary, so we don't ever have to go near them. Nexus resistance, shards and disenchantment all on the one armor. That is probably worth wearing. We're gonna be low on acid resistance though. So maybe I should swap our shield Oh wait, no, we do have acid resistance from the shield. What can I swap that can give us? Maybe our amulet. I'll see if we have an amulet that has acid resistance on it. Because we've got three sources of fear now, which is plenty. But we do have nexus covered and disenchantment without having to swap, which is nice. Disenchantment. What's our current gloves? The thief gloves. Maybe that is worth it. Poison disenchantment. We don't resist poison. I think that is worth it. We'll lose a bit of damage, but I would rather have the poison and disenchantment resistances, I think. So we don't really need to carry that amulet anymore. We've got, oh, well, I don't know, maybe it is worth carrying. We've only got one source of curse resistance. Anyway, we can drop off this speed ring and our plate armor and our gloves. I keep on forgetting to cough this enlightenment, so let's just drop it. Now, what did I say I wanted to swap? Our amulet. Do we have any amulets with acid resistance? We've got this one with acid and chaos, that's perfect. All right, we're looking pretty good now. Actually, fire resistance is a bit low. Two is, I mean, it's not really low. Two is what you want, more is preferable. I think that's fine. Yeah, let's go with that. See if we can finish off Crystal Cave. I forget how many floors this 
Dungeon is. Where's that F guy over there? This guy, I think. Okay. I think I'm thinking of someone else. I thought he could summon a bunch of things, so I didn't want him to be in line of sight for long. This guy just attacks you and then runs away. Unless you can one shot him. Did we one shot him? I think we did. Yeah. Here's another shop over here, it looks like. Wisdom, I'll buy that. Potion of Polymorph, I think I'll also buy. We got one of these from the Carmelian Lord. So it gives you a mutation, or maybe it can give you several mutations. If I do want to drink a new life at some point, I want to wait until after I've done that to quaff any potions of Polymorph that I have. New life. And I guess because these are in this store and not the black market, these potions of intelligence are much cheaper than usual, so I will buy these as well. We're already capped out on strength. I got a special feeling there just before I left, but I don't really care. This guy could be quite dangerous with his summons and he breathes two irresistible elements actually no three gravity blinks you around I think inertia temporarily slows you although we are immune to that as we are a demigod of Hermes and force I think just hurts you and can break your potions I wonder if it breaks the walls as well it might do anyway I can try fighting him Oh, he woke up. Does he pass through walls? Yeah, he does. Uh, let's see. Is he going to be nice and step next to me? Nope. Got him. Undead Beholder. Hopefully I can just teleport him away. Good. More Nexus resistance and also plus three strength, dex and con. But we are currently getting telepathy from our helm. Although, I, do I have a amulet with telepathy on it? No, I should have bought one in that jewelry shop because I saw a couple. We'll hang on to that. Uh, these guys, actually we resist this enchantment now. So we don't need to worry about them.
I don't think I've mentioned these shadows. Sometimes monsters will spawn and instead of being their usual glyph, there'll be these ends. And what this means is that you just don't know exactly what monster it is. This could be something really easy or it could be something really dangerous. And the only way to know it, um, the only way to know is to use a source of probing on it, I think. It turns out it was a dark elven shade, which is not too dangerous. What happened there? Yet yeah, someone's undead. Ah, there's a queue right there. Let's teleport away. I might have mentioned this before, but cues don't show up on telepathy. Judge fear. We can kill him. We're not afraid. Looks like this is some sort of undead vault. What happened there? Something blanked our mind. Chaos Dragon Scale Mail. I think these are kind of rare. I might have actually considered wearing this before we found our artifact mail that we're wearing now because it does have chaos and disenchantment on it. This guy is a really annoying monster. I wonder if I can kill him. He does drop up to four exceptional objects. Oh, he woke up. Hopefully he doesn't summon, any summon anything. Uh, he is almost dead. Let's fire the shot of David at him. Damn, I was hoping that would kill him. Would have been very cinematic. Let's actually kind of teleport him away instead. We can. Let's do that. Actually, I don't think any of this stuff that he summoned is too dangerous. Ring of Archery with plus two speed on it. That's pretty good. Not that I'm going to wear it. 
Mithril arrows of slaying. Slaying undead. Uh, they might be worth picking up if we find a good bow. It. Uh, where's he? Over there. I think this is the guy I was thinking of when I was talking about that F monster before. He summons a lot of monsters, hydras, undead. But he's also very low health and slow. He's not a problem. Ah, this guy summoned again. Uh, can I kill him? Hits for time, breathes time. That's not. We're kind of just ducking in and out of this dungeon. We're finding a lot of shops as well. That's a fairly decent ring of combat. I'll pick that up. Q, we killed him. Master Leech, can we teleport this guy? Resist but doesn't, not immune, we might be able to. There we go. Let's just teleport away everything. Potion of Strength, if I was thinking, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to, if I was thinking about quaffing new life, this would be worth picking up so that if my strength cap got raised, I'd be below my new strength cap and I'd have to quaff a few potions of strength to get up to it. But yeah, I don't know, I don't think I will quaff new life. Potion of Charisma, where's that south one? Actually, I think we're close to max out on Charisma as well. 1890, 18100, yeah, whatever. Is there anything too dangerous over here? Maybe not, maybe. Dwarken. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to deal with any of that. Yet more shops. I picked up these boots because if I remove that curse, all of the bad stuff goes away. And aside from that, they do have resist poison and nether and plus 3% life multiply, which I don't know. Maybe in some point in the future, I might want to wear those. Uh, 
Potion of Wisdom and Augmentation. Oh, we don't have enough money for the Augmentation. Just Wisdom then. of master mystics around. There must have been some sort of vault. And here we go. We're at the bottom of Crystal Castle. And here is the Dungeon Guardian, the Diamond Dragon. I think I might be able to take him. Maybe I should recall out and grab one of my potions of stone skin before I actually fight him. Because it looks like he hits pretty hard. Um... Uh, I might just try. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, almost died there because I was greedy and decided to try my 27% fail staff of healing instead of quaffing a potion. And I will now quaff potions. Let's quaff a few. I think we got him now. He's low health, so his breaths won't do as much damage. Okay, almost died there. But we didn't, so that's fine. Let's go Wisdom. He drops a Diamond Edge, I think, which is a good melee weapon. Also a source of immunity to fear. Oh, sorry, not fear. Immunity to cold. And there we go. There's our diamond edge. Um, I think you can reforge stuff onto these. Maybe once we're more famous, we can reforge this and see if we get a really good weapon. So at the moment we're doing 584 versus evil. With this we would be doing 419. And this has 471 normal anyway, so if that diamond edge isn't better than Ringle. Alright, well we finished off Crystal Castle anyway. Let's drop off the stuff we got. And let's try to do a little bit more of Dragon's Lair, I think, now that our resistances are better. Actually, our resistances are really good. We've got everything covered except for time, and you don't need time anyway. Shards is triple resisted, Chaos and Disenchantment are double resisted. These resists are actually good enough to go fight the Serpent. If I was level 50 and had more consumables, it wouldn't be the craziest idea to go fight him. But we're not level 50 yet. Where am I going? Dragon's Lair.
Here's a death mold. I think this is the first one we've seen. Um, they're stationary. So there is no reason you should ever step next to one. Even if you resist disenchantment like we do. I think there are a fair few people who have stepped next to death molds and then just died. Not expecting a mold to be so dangerous. Oh, what happened there? We saw this guy who is sanity blasting. Uh, might be able to kill him. Looks like he's coming our way. These Shoggoths are gonna be annoying though. Okay, we got rid of all of them. Is he not gonna step next to us? Okay, good. Uh, he's pretty low. Let's go whack him. Got him. Not a bad bow. Another poison needle which we don't need. Let's take those off as well. Actually, uh, I should have while I'm there. I'm never going to use a rune sword. Another star for destruction. And that's about it. We don't have much money, but we can check out this shop. Is this some sort of vault up here? A little one. Nothing too exciting in here anyway. Let's go down to level 66 and do that quest. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I should turn in the 5 Crystal Drakes quest and Anima. Here's something minor as well, I guess. So there's a, we're on level 65, there's regular stairs here which will take us down to 66 and a shaft here which would normally take us down to 67, but because we have a quest on 66, it stops and only takes us down to 66. Can I confuse these guys? No, let's just walk up to him. Ooh, there's two here. Let's teleport this. Can I get one of them? I can get one of them, but I can only get the closer one. And then they resist teleportation, so hopefully if I try and teleport both, the guy in front resists and the guy in the back disappears. Worked out perfectly. Wow. Was the entrance guardian not a great one with many colors? Because he's a lot harder than the entrance guy was. This is too dangerous. I'm just going to fail this quest. I must have 
I'm not sure now. I thought the entrance guardian was a great worm of many colours as well, and we killed him without any problems. Oh well. So there's another quest failed, but better than dying. In fact, speaking of dying, why did I attack that guy before healing up? Who knows? Probably a sign that I've been playing for long enough. So let's go turn in our failed quest, they'll laugh at us. There we go. I'm not going to pick up the next quest because the next one is um, a level 80 something one in Angband, I think, to kill like 10 pit fiends or something. And I do want to eventually reset recall in Angband and go from level 40 from where we were all the way down to 99. So I don't want any dangerous quests on there because I, I would pretty much just be forced to fail that one, I think. And even though I have been saying that I don't want to co-op new life, let's buy this potion of self-knowledge anyway. Alright, I've made several stupid mistakes in this video and almost died two or three times. So I think now is a good time to stop. Let's leave it there. See you next time.